हेलो फ्रेंड्स कंटिन्यूइंग स्क्रू गेज सीरीज हियर इन पार्ट थ्री वी विल डिस्कस हाउ टू टेक मेजरमेंट्स विथ स्क्रू गेज एंड ऑल द फॉलोइंग कैलकुलेशन हियर आर द स्टेप्स दैट शुड बी फॉलोड वेन एवर वी आर टेकिंग मेजरमेंट्स विथ स्क्रू गेज सो स्टेप वन फाइंड लीज काउंट वी हैव डिस्कस्ड फाइंडिंग लीज काउंट ऑफ स्क्रू गेज इन डिटेल इन पार्ट वन द सेम वे वी विल यूज फार्मूला to find least count that is pitch over total number of divisions on circular scale pitch is called as the least count of main scale this scale is the main scale sometimes this scale is also called as linear scale because it's horizontal scale so it is also called as linear scale so least count of linear scale or main scale means length of one division which is 1 mm so pitch is 1 mm and circular scale this one is the circular scale and it has total 100 divisions so divided by 100 1 mm divided by 100 which will give us 0.01 mm so we found the least count of screw gauge as 0.01 mm now step 2 we have to check if the screw gauge has zero error or not we have discussed finding zero error in detail in screw gauge part 2 so make sure you watch part 2 to, to go in detail same way here we will bring these two ends together this end is called as stud and this is the screw here it goes so now these two ends are together so ideally this line means this reference line should coincide with the zero of circular scale this zero here you can see zero of the circular scale is below the reference line so this is screw gauge is having a zero error as zero is below the reference line so this error is positive zero error so let's calculate the zero error so for that first of all we need to find the coinciding circular scale division so you can see this division is perfectly coinciding with the reference line this reference line the number is 3 third division is coinciding and then we have to multiply this division by the least count least count is 0.01 mm so we will get 0.03 mm as this is positive error so we will put a plus sign before this number if zero would be above of the reference line then this would be negative error and we put the negative sign before this number so we got plus 0.03 mm as the positive zero error of this screw gauge now step 3 so now we have to place the object between screw and stud means this between these two stands and then read the main scale and circular scale readings okay uh, let's place the object between screw and stud now we have placed the object between stud and screw so let's take the main scale reading and uh, circular scale reading this one is the main scale reading so this is 0 1 2 and 3 so 3 mm is the main scale reading and the circular scale reading is it's 54 this is uh, this circular division is perfectly coinciding so 54 so here let's write all the readings so 3 mm and the next reading is 54 is the circular scale reading uh, the same way we have to take second trial let's do the second trial so this time again main scale reading is 1 2 3 3 mm and the circular scale division is matching here this one this one is 53 and 51 52 53 so once we have main scale reading and circular scale reading we need to multiply this circular scale reading by the least count that means 54 times 0.01 is the millimeter and then add this number to the main scale reading that means 3 mm so this will give us 3.54 millimeter 
and the same way multiply circular scale reading by the least count 53 times 0.01 and then add this circular scale reading to the main scale reading that is 3 so this will give us 3.53 millimeter the same way we can take uh, 3 to 5 trials and uh, make a table and record all the data and then we have to do the following calculations first of all we will take average of all the readings so suppose we have three readings then first reading was 3.53 millimeter second is 3.54 and the same way suppose we have one more reading and which is 3.51 millimeter add all the readings and divide it by 3 that will give us 3.54 millimeter this is the average of all the readings now we have to find the correcting reading for that we will subtract the zero error from the average reading average reading is 3.54 millimeter subtract zero error with the sign if it is negative zero error then you will subtract it with negative sign we have the positive zero error so positive 0 0.03 3 millimeter so subtracting 3.51 millimeter this is our final reading this is the thickness of the wire we were measuring I hope you understand this topic here in the following video we will discuss ITG problems based on screw gauge measurements so stay tuned and study more don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Thank you.